Hey, my name is Attorney Walter with Not the Third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. Let's go ahead and begin. It's video number four for consultative examinations and things that the doctor should know before you go ahead um, and leave their office when doing your consultative examination. All right, so let's say the SSA sets you up, schedules you for, I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this a little bit, schedules you for a CE, which is a consultative examination uh, with an ME, medical expert, on behalf of the SSA. What should you be telling them? Look, if you were driving there or in a cab or in a bus and you have back issues or leg issues or whatever, you need to explain to them all the times that you stood up during the trip or all the pain that you experienced during the trip or how you had to get out of the vehicle and take a break and stand or lay down or whatever during the trip. If you don't do that, you're basically shooting yourself in the back and legs when it comes to the explanation as to the full extent of your disability limitations. Because look, if you can just drive someplace consistently, let's say you took a trip, okay, a trip, I have to go from uh, Florida, Orlando to Florida, Fort Lauderdale, right? Uh, three and a half hour trip and I sat the whole way, got there, got out, you know, there I am, cool, I'm there. What you've totally left out is the opportunity to say that you had to stop at every rest stop along the way, go to the bathroom at every single rest stop, you had to get out, stretch your legs, do the shooting pain that went between your back and your knees and your legs and whatever. You, you're missing the opportunity to explain residual functional capacity limitations which would affect your vocational expert portion of your hearing, which is like the where they give you potential jobs that you could do due to a hypothetical question asked by a judge. So you really need to explain to that medical expert, explain during your administrative law judge hearing how you have difficulty traveling because it is a direct result. Like you're not you're not pedaling, right, on this thing you're in standing up. You're usually sitting, whether you're pushing the pedals or not, throughout this process. And what that amounts to is essentially, uh, sorry, my brain just went to a hearing I had like a couple of days ago, and I just I was like, oh, did I do this thing? I was like, oh yeah, okay, I did it. Um, so what that amounts to is a, a situation where when they ask questions to the vocational expert, who could this person do a sedentary job, blah, 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 right? That Because, that, you know, that's essentially, it's a hypothetical question, you know, considering, you know, light, you know, accommodations outlined in the blah, 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 or sedentary, blah, 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 blah. What we're looking at here is the sedentary rules. You know, could you essentially sit continuously for an extended period to do this job, right? That's the whole point of this question. Could you do it? If you could not travel that distance well, then you could not also very likely sit for an extended period to do a job. If you can't sit consistently, then you are off task, right? If you're going to the bathroom, you're stretching your legs, you're laying down or whatever, then you're off task, okay? So, you know, you're probably starting to see how it all kind of comes together. Summary is this. If you can travel long distances without having issues, and you have leg, knee, back issues, then it shows that you could do a sedentary based job. Sedentary means a sitting job, all right? If you can do a sitting job, and you can do it eight hours a day, five days a week, then that means you are not disabled, all right? My name is Attorney Walter Wolf, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA in Orlando Orange County based Social Security Disability Law Firm. If you have a unique question for your claim or you want the most up-to-date information, that's fine. Give me a call or shoot me an email. All uh, consultations are free, and we'll go from there. All right, you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.